Hi guys, this is Miss Ines from Agile Mystery School. Our unit today is Unit 9 from Le English World. Its title is Deep Sea Animals. Deep Sea Animals. Yes, and this reading lesson is about the aquarium. It's a place where you can see many sea animals. And here is the family went to the aquarium to see some strange sea creatures and how they move and flab in water and how strange they are so they were so amazed of what they saw okay let's learn some definitions the first one is the aquarium aquarium okay one more time aquarium yes right and it's a place where sea animals can live and of course it's a noun the second one is glow glow yes one more time glow and it's a verb glow means to shine to bright okay the third one explain explain it's a verb means to make something clear after that we have complain it's also a verb complain complain it means to say something doesn't make you happy you are not happy about that, so you complain. Next is grunt. Grunt. Grunt is a verb. It means to show that you haven't heard or understood something. So you ask about this. So you grunt. Okay. The last one is astonishing. Astonishing. It's an adjective which means amazing. When you see something amazing, you say astonishing okay now we have a group of nouns the first one is lantern lantern okay it's like a lamp lantern the second one is eel eel okay it's a sea creature eel another word is cushion 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 yes great and these are tentacles 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 and here are a group of verbs the first one is flap flap it means to move your arms up and down it's flap okay and these are adjectives the first one is gloom gloom okay the second is deep like the title do you remember deep okay the third is dim dim it's not light it's dim okay the verb we have is flap and the adjectives gloom deep and dim okay great now let's do some exercises Exercise 1. Underline the correct words. Number 1. The squid. Sank. Flipped. Flapped. Ran. Gently. Up and down. The squid what? Flapped. Yes, right. Excellent. Number 2. She. Complains. Grants. Explains. Exclaims about her children noise. She is annoyed, so she complains. Yes, right, she complains. Number three, an octopus has long, long what? Long teeth, long tentacles, long eyes, long feet to feel and pick up bits of food. I think an octopus has long mm, tentacles. Yes, right, perfect. Number four, we went to the museum park, aquarium, zoo, and so many deep sea animals. Where can we go and see many deep sea animals? Huh? Maybe aquarium? Yes, right, thank you. We went to the aquarium, great. Right. And let's move to listen to the past simple passive. Okay, our grammar today is about the past simple passive. Of course, we know past simple. 
It's when you talk about something that happened in the past and we use the past form of the ber verb. For example, run, ran, see, saw, play, played, and so on. So, what is passive or why we use passive? Okay, we use passive when we have two reasons. Okay, number one, when we don't know who did the action. I have an action, but I don't know who did it. Number two, the action is more important than the doer. The action itself is more important for me than the doer or the person who did the action. Okay, let's move to the form. The affirmative form. In active, in past simple, we have to put subject and past tense. For example, Ali painted these pictures. So I put Ali, the subject, and painted the past tense from paint. Okay, the passive form, it's more simple. We start with the object because I want to focus on the action, not the doer. So the object plus was aware, was or object. We start with the object, not the subject, because I have to focus on the action, not the doer. The object plus was aware plus PP. Of course, we know PP. For example, eat, ate, eaten. Eaten is the PP. See, saw, seen. Seen is the PP. So, the, the same example is these pictures. We started with the object, which is these pictures. And it's a plural, so we put where plus pp, which is painted by, by the subject, by Ali. Okay, this is the affirmative. Let's move to the negative. As usual, when we need to negate any sentence, we just add not after the verb to be. So, the active form is subject plus didn't plus infinitive. For example, Ali didn't take this photo. Okay, and the passive form, yes, we start with, huh, who remembers? Excellent, the object plus was aware, the same form, plus not, wasn't or weren't, plus pp. The same example, this photo, the object is this photo, it's a singular, so we had to put wasn't. Plus the BB from take, it's taken. Yes, right, by the subject, which is Ali. Okay, this is the negative form. Okay, let's move to yes or no questions. Okay, of course we know in yes or no questions, we start with the auxiliary verb of the tense. So in active form, we start with did subject and infinitive form. For example, did many people see the film? Okay, the passive form. We don't have did in passive form, so we use was or where. And in passive form, we use the object plus pp. For example, was the film seen by many people? Okay, you can answer with yes or no. Now, Let's move to question four. WH questions. The same form as yes or no question, you only add the question word. So the active form is the question word, maybe what, when, uh, who, which, plus did, plus subject, plus infinitive. When did Ali play football? The passive form. We start with the question word, the plus, was and where, plus, object, plus pp. For example, when was football played? Okay. We have a simple note. We change the subject pronouns to object pronouns after the word boy. Okay, because we want to focus on the object. Subject pronouns and object pronouns. You have to memorize this table very well. I becomes me. You 
becomes you the same he him she her it it we us they them okay let's look at these exercises yes number one Ali painted the picture he wanted to start with the picture so the picture plus was or where it was plus PP which is painted by Ali number two they read all the stories it's not present okay it's a past read and read had the same spelling but different pronunciation so they read all the stories all the stories were because it's a plural read by them okay it's time for exercise exercise number one underline the correct word number one the novel wrote written was written writes by Charles Dickens think before you answer is it an active form or passive form you have by so the answer is was written yes right the novel was written number two where who what when was the treasure found by we have was and found by so is it active or passive ah, the answer is mm, who yes right it's who number three the aquarium was visited by after by we have to put the object pronoun not the subject which one of these is the object pronoun us yes the aquarium was visited by us great exercise number two rewrite the following number one they read all the stories huh he wants to make it passive so we have to start with the object which is all the stories yes all the stories plus was or where where yes plus were plus the pp which is read okay all the stories were read hmm. by by they or by them by them yes right by them okay number two she sent us a letter she sent us a letter and we will start with a letter okay a letter is the object so he needs to make it passive after a letter what should we put was yes a letter was hmm the pp is sent sent a letter was sent by by she or by her by her yes by her perfect let's move to lesson three spelling we have le that we add to the end of some words okay the first word is okay the first word is cable 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 yes right huh battle 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 and table table yes easy table huh stable stable it's a place where horses live stable okay after that apple apple and then we have puddle puddle this is some water on the ground it's called puddle yes the last one is bubble bubble okay let's read them all cable cable yes bottle table stable apple puddle and bubble and now it's time for homework do it yourself don't let anyone to help you and send me your answers and don't forget to answer the workbook questions and send me your answers see you next video bye I don't know how to do it.